Hi, this is Lisa von Local King Robert Stan. Welcome to my channel. I have a song, some few new projects I would like to share with you. Before I start today's video, we are I'm going to talk about uh, or play with Lisa the Zoom meeting. I have been quiet for the past few days because I was actually planning the project for play with Lisa. I have chosen these butterfly kisses uh, um, combo set. So what I'm going to do is I am going to share with you at least 25 different kinds of stamping techniques by using these butterflies kiss combo set. If you have this combo set, feel free to join us. If you don't have it, I'm offer a great promotion and it's going to be free shipping for this butterflies kiss combo set. I have received a lot of orders from you and I'm sure they will be there before our meeting start. If you're not planning to use this stamp set or die cut, you can use your own stamp or your own die cut. The point is about to get connect with each other and have fun. All you need is to have a Zoom account. So how it work is, I will provide the meeting ID and the password. When the June 13 at two o'clock, all you need to do is log into your Zoom meeting, uh, the Zoom account, and then put this ID number and the password. You can choose to show your face or not. In the beginning, I will mute everybody's microphone. If everything runs smoothly, I will turn on the microphone and we can really chat. Okay, so that, that's that's how it works. And we're probably going to do like a two or three meeting and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. The first meeting, I'm going to try to keep under two hours. For the first 30 people who signed out Lisa's first Zoom meeting, so I will send you an email with your meeting ID and the password. This is not a le uh, class or lesson. The point is I want to see your face. We are going to chatting, working on some project together. And if you have any question, you can ask me and I will do my best to answer you. If you're not on the list, don't panic. I will post this video online after our meeting. Looks like people like these free lesson ideas and I will have Lisa play with Lisa Zoom meeting more often and then hoping everybody can join us. We just want to have fun. So that's the start today's video and I have a more video coming soon and make sure you subscribe to Local Kings YouTube channel. Give me a thumb up so, when, so that when I have new videos, you will receive an email. That's the start today's video and I hope you like it. Okay. Selling a product is very easy, but uh, share with, uh, you know, showing your customers how to use uh, your product, that's kind of challenge. And I have created a lot of v uh, YouTube video to share with you how to use a local King's product. If you haven't got a chance to check it out, make sure you visit local King online video library and then click the card you like, and then it will bring you to the YouTube channel. I have been using a uh, same stamp set and the share with all different kinds of stamping technique. That's why I love rubber stamps so much because the same stamp, different way to play, it comes up with something totally different. So today we are going to use this You Are So Jelly combo set again. I have been using this uh, combo set, create other videos, and I will put the link below to make sure you check it out. They look something totally different. I actually have a two project, but I'm going to share with um, I'm going to share with you in two different video because every video I try to keep a little bit shorter. Okay, when I design the new stamp, I always uh, have a bet with my husband to see which one is going to be the number one set. Actually, I kind of thinking this you are so jelly will be the uh, number one set, but it. It was not. It was uh, actually the the ice hat that was the uh, the animal's hat. So you are so jelly is one of my favorite set, and uh, I'm going to share with you what the die come out with the other two awesome project. Are you ready? So the first one I am going to actually using this uh, the combo set and the, use this uh, curl leaf sling light um, line background. Every video I create, oh, I always try to share with you some awesome stamping technique. Like I say, if you have the stamp set, use the set. If you don't have the stamp set, try to use something you already have. The idea is about the stamping technique. I am not trying to sell you, you got to have this stamp set. So this channel is just want to have fun and then that's it. Okay, ready for the first one? 
Okay, so this is the first one, right? That's my front car. Are you ready? Ta-da! So it's kind of like a double slide car. Okay, like this. So in my video, I always try to share with you when I create this car project, what kind of mistake I made, what kind of challenging I have doing the processing. I think that's what the people like to see, right? Okay, so this is going to be the first car I'm going to share with you. And uh, this is the car I'm using, the USO Jelly um, stamp die cut and the uh, curl, uh, curl reef uh, sling line. I think it's a pretty unique, isn't it? Okay, and then the next one is, I am using also, you are so jelly and the jelly giggly. Should I show you what's the project look like? Or should I left it? That's just to show you what's a project. So, okay, ready? So this is going to be in the next video. I'm going to share with you the first one. And then this is going to, to be the next video. Ready? Ta-da! A lot of jellyfish. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this is going to be the next coming video. I'm actually working on the video and that they will be uploaded pretty soon. And then, okay, so that's just started. Okay, so that's started. You know, it is always a good idea to make a prototype first. So this is my prototype and my prototype is actually smaller. So I think 5.5 .5 by 5.5 is a perfect size. Okay, so I will always make a prototype, just a prototype, just to use the cheap car stuff to make a prototype first before you start working on your project. And then this car is uh, very cute because I want to create this uh, jellyfish really kind of swimming um, pop out. So, but if you have uh, any sea creature, uh, creatures, I think the turtle, um, seahorses, octopus, they all can, um, they will work all per perfect for this car. So if you watch this video and you want to create some car and really hope you can share with me, you can post your car at, uh, um, on the local Kings Facebook page, or you can just uh, send me an email with your car project. That will be awesome too. Okay. So the car stock is the nothing simple, actually this car, but I'm going to do a little bit fixing like this car at this moment, the backing doesn't have anything. I kind of find out it's kind of weird. And uh, so we are going to do a little bit fix to add the backing too. This car is only need a two full size car. And I recently find out this recollection, recollection from the Michael's 110 pound car star. It works just perfect. The price is cheap and the quality is good. You can blend in too. So you just need the two sheets. Okay. So I did a, um, uh, a video to share with you how to use a, a magic mushroom to do the blending. Um, I know a lot of you guys that bought the magic mushroom and you're already having a problem to using it. So make sure you watch that video and give you a lot of information how to use the local king's magic mushroom. I also did a paper review, the video number 138. So these two is on the recollections uh, car stock and this one is on the dull glossy glossy paper. Different kind of paper have a different kind of way to do it. And then I just use uh, um, my favorite ink pack, VersaFine. You can use uh, any black ink pack, but I just found out the VersaFine clear is uh, awesome. You just uh, stand one time, you will get a very solid image. Okay, so just make sure you use a water resist or waterproof impact because we're going to blending with our magic mushroom and this blending is the most easy way to do it. Hoping after you watch this video, you can give it a try. So for the regular car stock, they can do the blending so we can really blending it. For the dark glossy or glossy paper, you cannot really blending. You have to kind of tapping because the, once the, when you apply the ink on the glossy paper, they kind of seal the ink. You cannot get a very, uh, you cannot get a, a lot of color. For the regular card stock, you can do the blending. For the glossy paper, you just uh, tapping. But at least uh, today's project, this uh, coloring is uh, so easy. I don't really need to do the blending, which at least is a, a regular car stock. 
Okay, so the regular cars that the color is more bright for the dark glossy, glossy paper, the color is more, is harder if you want to use magic mushroom to do blending on the glossy paper because the surface is so, um, so shiny, so slippery. Um, uh, as soon as when you put the ink on top, they will grab all the ink and they seal the surface. You are not uh, able to remove the ink on the paper. That's why when you want to do the blending, try to use a uh, regular cardstock. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I need a large card, right? I this is a slim line size uh, um, stamp. So, but I need a bigger card. So what I did is I just stamp two times, and then you can do just to put them together, kind of rotate it. They are not going to be the perfect line up, but I think that's uh, good enough. Isn't it? Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, click the back and I'm going to just use a regular tape to tape it. So here is my clear tape. First, I am going to just tape the end. That's how I extending my small stamp to have a bigger surface. So once when I seal the end, I don't have to hold it anymore. And then I can just use both my hand to pick up a tape. Okay. And then if it's a little bit extra, we are going to just, uh, just uh, trim it with the knife or scissors. Okay. So that's my extend the image right and then my car size is a 5.5 .5 by 5.5 .5. so here um i am going to make a 5.25 the width so 5.5 .5, and i try to have my this uh, line in the middle so when I trimming it, I try to have an even, even, um, even space on the right and the left. That way they are kind of balanced. So 5.5 .5 by 5.5, uh, 5.25, half of a 5.25 is 2. Oops, I froze. Wait, <laughs> I have to use a calculator. It's Okay, I'm back. I'm glad I'm an artist. I'm not a counter. Okay, so you are going to need the 2.625 on the right and 2.62 on the left. So try to have your cutting line in the middle. I'm going to trim it. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So this is the... The first, we have our foundation card, so this is a, a 8.5 by 11. So I have my 5.5, that's my main card. And then I have the other three inch, uh, inches left, right? So I cut the other two inches and the one inches. So we're going to use all of them, don't worry about that. And the, for the main piece, that was a two of the slim line size card and I combined together. Well, I'm so impressed, my math is horrible, but I say I'm an artist, I'm not the, a counter, so it's okay. So just make sure your small car is a little bit smaller. Well, if you want the same size, it's okay too. If you want a 5.5, that's okay too. But I just want to give it a little bit border. So, and then don't worry about the height, it doesn't matter. And then now we're going to do the coloring. And then remember, we're going to use the uh, magic mushroom because uh, you know what? I'm kind of like a lazy person. I really don't like to spend a lot of time to coloring. So this is the most uh, easiest way to color. And then if you have a set of a magic mushroom, use your magic mushroom in the remember before you use that, you kind of have to mix them, make a water, uh, make them ready to use. They need to be a little bit moisture, especially now it's summer, it's kind of hot. My mushroom is actually dry every time when I use it. I have to kind of give it a little bit uh, moisture. Okay, so I have uh, my yellow here and then it's still a little bit dry. You always try to start with a lighter color because if you are working on the regular cardstock, they can be blended together. So just to pick a little bit color here and then you can use any kind of dye base impact. It will work just fine. I prefer dye base because uh, the pigment is kind of milky. You got to clean well after you use it otherwise those pigment impact uh, ink is stick on your magic mushroom 
after a while, they become harder. Treat your magic mushroom like a good set of brushes or like a sponge. Okay, so we just, uh, I just uh, kind of rubbing here and then because I want to fast resolve and then make sure you watch that video to share with you how to do the different blending. Okay, so this is how I coloring just fast and easy. And then light color, medium color. Okay, make sure your uh, magic mushroom is a, a little bit moisture, not too much. Okay, and then just a rub, tap, whatever. Okay, just give it like a rainbow color. Okay, and then we do a little bit red. I know the car maybe looks a little bit complicated, but you know what? It's not that complicated. Once when you learn the pattern, it's just a piece of cake. And in my video, I try to explain as detailed as I can, even though sometimes I talk too much. You just be aware with me. My, I just try to share the best I know with all my customer and my viewer. So it's like a rainbow color. Start with a lighter color to the darker color. And uh, I need a little bit blue. Oh, let's do the purple first. Just here and there, just try to have fun. It can go wrong, okay? So a little bit purple here, okay? And uh, a little bit blue here. Sometimes, like uh, I don't even deep in the color on my magic mushroom, still have some color. So you just uh, kind of rubber and they see the color, they blending together. It's even prettier. You know, they I used probably five colors so far, but on my car, you see there's more color. That's add a little bit green too. Okay, so look how pretty it is. It's a real look like a curl reef. Okay, so that's how I am doing my coloring and uh, this is the ink pad. I'm going to put that away. Always uh, clean the table. And uh, they should dry pretty pretty fast. You know, try to play. Sometimes if you want to just have like a bright red color, you can do it. You want to have like dark cold color, go for it. You know, no worry at all. Okay, that's done. And then you can, like a Lisa stamp set, they come with a detail stamp, they come with a shadow stamp. And then I kind of, because of my background is already very colorful, I don't want to make my jellyfish is very colorful too. So that's why I decide I am going to just do the die cut. I found out this beautiful paper from Michael's and it's so cheap. I am not the pro promoter Michael, it's just the, the, place, the only place I can get all the um the stamping material is the Michaels and then or you know online so i find the paper is actually very pretty and the price is actually good okay so i decide i just want to die cut it so have a some kind of contract in the back on the background i do very colorful so for my jellyfish if it's very colorful they will blend in together they won't show so that's why i decide to use this one okay this one I just did emboss, embossing, dry embossing with a rubber mat. I didn't, um, I didn't call it in, and I want to share with you something else. You can see, you know, the die cut is very important, and then you can see on uh, my jellyfish, they have a lot of a texture, right? That's because the die cut. There is uh, two kind of die cut on the um, on the market. I'm sure most of the die cut you got is uh, something like this. Is uh, you just stamp that you put a die cut, they leave you a big gap. But local king's die cut is really really detailed. You see, there's a lot of a hollow area, right? And then in my other video, I will share with you how we can use this die cut as a stencil. A lot of information I will share with you when we have the first uh, when we have the play with Lisa zoom meeting by using the butterflies kiss set so um just make sure you follow up all the video there's a lot of information so i already do the die cut and i already uh did the embossing with uh, a piece of rubber so if you don't have those kind of embossing feature when you run through the machine you die cut it that's what it look like but if you have embossing feature when you run through the machine with uh, 
piece of rubber, see what's the difference. If you don't have those kind of detail dye with embossing feature, when you die cut it, they barely see what is this. You can tell what's at least the without the stamp image, right? But the Ojaika is so detailed. I put a lot of time when I'm doing the dye design. So you can see all those little suction, not suction. Jellyfish doesn't have a suction cup, do they? Whatever. You know what I mean. Okay, so that's why you got to make sure if you want to do this kind of um uh, special effect, you got to have the right die cut. This year, all the local games die cut have a double die. So this set, you get an eight. Oh, no, sorry. This one, you get a seven die cut because the bubble doesn't have a double, double die. So what I did is I just uh, cut uh, three of my jellyfish and then do the dry embossing. If you don't know how to do the dry embossing, i just quickly explain to you. So you put the, your die cut on the paper, right? You cut it first. And then keep your die cut, keep your paper on the die cut, and then you put the piece of rubber on top and then run to the machine. And then when the rubber push the paper to this embossing hole, that's how they create the, those uh, reliefs stuff. So all you need is a piece of rubber. If, like before, we have to have a light table, we have to have a stylus, we have to have a time. Now all a silicone rubber will will do. Um, I think everybody know that. If you don't know how to do the dry embossing, leave me a comment and later on I will uh, create a, a video to share with you. But I think that's just too simple. Okay, so that's what's different between the outline die and the detail die. I hope that makes sense. So I have a four jellyfish here. Okay, and this one you can keep it to some, do something something else. And I have some large jellyfish here. And then I use this uh, uh, border border die cut to decorate. Decorate. Hmm, wait, my sample. Oh, here. Decorate it if you want to. So just learn the pattern and then it's totally after you how, what you're going to decorate this stuff. You don't, if you don't have these stamps, then make sure you check this month's special. Um, I put a special combo set for the stamp I'm using. So just make sure you check it out. Okay, so the next, we are going to do something else. Okay, so the next is we are going to assemble it together. Okay, so this is a 5.5 by 11, right? So that's to do the foundation card. You are going to just fold your card to the 5.5 by 5.5. I did a little bit adjust because of my prototype, you, you can see the back is not, uh, it's kind of seen through, it's kind of like unfinished, so don't like that. So I am actually going to fix it to, um, to kind of, uh, to kind of hide that one. Okay. So this is my foundation card, just folding the half. And then I have my curl, uh, the, the curl reef, and then you're going to folding in the half too. Okay. The size of this, uh, the curl, it doesn't really matter. So it just have to be a little bit smaller than this one. Okay. So you can decide which is, which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, um, which direction you want to do this or do that. You won't believe uh, how easy it is. So that's what it look like. Okay. And then the next. I am having a two piece of acetate. This acetate, you can use uh, your paper straight, but because I want my jellyfish is uh, like a seeing through, so I have a two piece of acetate. And this acetate is uh, uh, two inches and the six inches. So when I create this car, I actually have a problem because when I create my prototype, my fish, uh, my jellyfish doesn't go in easily because of those tentacles, when you close it, they kind of cut, like uh, get cut with this car. So that I, I was using a narrow strips. And then if your object is small, you, um, you can have even like a, a three strip for like a, like a three triple sliding, you can do that. But because of my jellyfish, you have a lot of those tentacle. So you have to make sure when you glue it, those tentacle is exactly glue 
on your acetate. A little bit pop out, they will get cut with this part, so they will not go in and out easy. In and out is a famous burger, really missing it. <laughs> okay, so just like that. That's why I have my acetate two inches. Okay, so first, there's a one more thing you got to do is we are going to My first car, because I don't have a backing, right? So I kind of just uh, uh, put my acetate uh, behind this car and I kind of seal the front. But I found out the back, it doesn't have a cover that kind of ugly. So I decide I actually want to have uh, the backing. And then, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to use the knife to cut the two they are two inches, right? So the first one is uh, um, start with uh, 0 0.5. Okay, so I kind of want to cut the one, um, what do you call, hole to slice my acetate in. So from the left to that cutting line, you give it a 0 0.5 inches. Okay, and then the other side, we also give a, a uh, 0 0.5 and then 2 inches a little bit longer is okay so that way I can put my acetate in like this okay so now I have my acetate in like this if the acetate is too long we can trimming it doesn't matter so I kind of just uh, put my acetate in right and then I'm going to just uh, folding it Like this. So I have a both the pieces. Where is uh, the other acetate? Is it seeing true? Where is my other acetate? Oh, here. The other acetate, same thing, you're going to poke through. Okay, like this. And then probably around the 0 0.5 width. Okay. Like this. Okay, and then before we glue it, I want you to kind of fold in a few times to make, because the acetate I have is actually very thick. It's a good quality, but the, the flexibility is a limit. So that's why we are going to fold in a few times, not too many. If you accidentally break it off, you can just put some um, clear tape to glue them together. Okay, so now I put my acetate, just insert my acetate, both pieces. Okay, it's not complicated, it's pretty easy. Okay, so I, pre I, I kind of have my acetate here, right? So you can just use a double side tape to tape it, but I'm going to just use the clear tape to secure it just like that right and then don't worry about the here we are going to um, we are going to put something on the top so we can hide it okay so let's do that and then just make sure those are the folding line is uh, can go folding smoothly Okay, let's move on to the next uh, step. In my video, I often share my mistakes with my viewers and hoping sh by showing you my mistake when you create a car, you can avoid that. What kind of mistake did I make at least I'm going to share with you? This car is, uh, um, is a little bit different with a regular car. When you open the car, it's actually like this. Because I really want to create, a, when, when your friend receives this car, they open it, you can see the jellyfish is kind of pop out, right? So most of the time, the car is usually open this way or open on the side way. But this car is just, look, uh, just open different way. So when I uh, tried to stamp in my jellyfish, I didn't, um, I forgot that these cards open this way. And then so I, when I stamp in my jellyfish, I stamp this side. And then when I tried to assembling all my uh, 
my um, inside car and I found that all oh, my jellyfish is upside down. If that doesn't bother you, that's fine because I went to Japan, there was a uh, aquarium. They actually have a jellyfish, it's called the button up jellyfish. They are so cute and the, all the jellyfish is actually floating this way. So, well, but uh, I we, we just don't want to, you know, people thinking what's wrong with uh, too much drink. Uh, too high okay so that's why remember this car is open this way and then you want to stamp anything sentiment got to be in this direction so the next step is i'm going to just fast forward it i'm going to just stamping a um, few of the jellyfish by using three different kind of color okay so i'm going to fast forward it i will be right back Okay, so that's what it look like after I stamped it and I glue inside of my car. Remember, after you folding it, just put put the glue on the lower uh, lower half. Don't put any glue here. Now I have my two pieces of acetate and I put the uh, I put uh, uh, the tape here. You can see, okay, just put the, the tape here, and then I'm going to remove one of the, my acetate and I'm going to insert that cut I cut okay and then you are going to just put acetate here okay you can see here have some ugly acetate show in the, my front car right but don't worry we are going to hide it so I'm going to remove my acetate again and then insert inside okay and then do this so that's what it look like in the back. And then you can tell all this acetate here is a, a, is a kind of ugly, right? That's why I put some kind of decoration to um, hiding it. So I have at least a five by five, uh, five by five, five by five by two inches uh, high strip. You can do whatever you like. And I just uh, found out I like to put a, a little bit border here. So is this the... The dolphin okay so this die cut is one of the border die cut um just uh make sure you check this month uh, this month special i will have a special deal for a combo that um, include everything i'm using okay so i only want to uh cut on the top so this is what you're going to do you are going to just insert your die cut so just insert the paper inside so that way you will end up to only cut on the on the top. And I think it actually kind of unique because after you die cut, it actually you can use as a cloud. Okay, be because I insert this piece and the only in the, um, like insert in. So they only put the pressure in the front and the back, it didn't die cut it. So that's what I want. And so see now I can easily to hiding that ugly acetate, right? So, and then we just give a little bit more blending around the edge of this die cut. Just use the color that I have on the, my magic mushroom. Okay, very, very light color. Just try to separate my front piece and the, like this. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then if you don't want to use the, the border die cut, like I say, you can put a strip, you can put a wave, use what you have, and then I'm going to mount that detail die. So this die cut is actually come with both of them. Okay, so for this base piece, if you want to add a little bit foam tape, you can do that too. So you can kind of left in a little bit to make it even more 3D, but uh, I think uh, this is uh, good enough. So I'm going to just, uh, use uh, my double side tape i'm going to just uh, seal that acetate okay and then for this piece because that is too detailed what you can do is you can use those kind of micro uh, micro dots um glue or i'm going to just use the, the liquid glue kind of put a little bit on the top Okay. Okay. And then 
time to just find a spot. I think that will do. Like this. And then we are going to just trimming the extra. So that's a perfect way to hiding that acetate. Ta-da! Okay, and then if you want to have a sentiment on the front or inside or whatever you like. Okay, so the next, you can see my prototype, I don't have a backing, right? And then my second car, I learned, I, wah, here is a little dirty old. What? I didn't clean my table. That's horrible. Let's see if I can erase it. If I can't erase it, I maybe just uh, put uh, some pattern paper in the back. So, or that's even better. You can write your message in the back too. So I usually like learn why I'm creating. Okay. And then I have to secure at least uh, two pieces of acetate. Um, if I don't secure it, what you, they are kind of, it works, but uh, I just want to put a bell to secure that. So remember we have a one strip is the one inches wide. So what it's going to do is we are going to just create a belt like this. And then that's how we can hold that two pieces of acetate. So you just have a five and five, five point five inches, and then kind of just a um, half inches this extra place, and then we just put uh, some double side tape, and then we are going to just uh, mount uh, just a stick in the back. So now we created this belt, right? And then now you can insert that two piece of acetate inside that belt you can do adjustments sometimes you know if you make some boo boo you know too long too short just try to make a little bit adjustment it doesn't matter okay so if you find out like a two of your acetate like a, see when i open my acetate it's kind of like a leaning to each other so in the middle here i can put a little bit tape so that way see my acetate is uh, is not uh, going to other people's space like this, right? Okay, so that's now just make sure the sliding nice and smoothly. Okay, like this. Okay, and then we can glue or uh, jellyfish now. If you found out, you know. Like this one, because they don't have a backing, so that this kind of jellyfish is kind of, you know, pop out nice. But this one have a backing. Maybe we should folding this one in the back. Let's see what it look like. I like to have a backing, but I think that but this back, backing is kind of, um, didn't like my, my, my jellyfish showing well. So let's see what to do. Let's see. Yeah, so I think uh, without the backing is uh, it's better because uh, you know what? That's glue or jellyfish first, and then we can decide we want to have this uh, backing or not. Because you can see this is a thing true, right? So when the jellyfish pop out, it's kind of interesting, but. Uh, when you, but you see the back of the car is kind of like unfinished, right? That's why I try to add this, uh, this back in the back. But once when I add this back, um, here is kind of plain. What we can do is we can stamp more, more we can st uh, stamp uh, more jellyfish over there. But uh, I want to create uh, like a seeing through. So I think I probably going to just uh, lose the background. I mean, the least backing car. I think the original design doesn't have a backing. That's, uh, I think that looks better. Well, but I just want to give you the option that if you want to do that, you can, you can totally, you know, have the backing or don't have backing. But I can still losing the backing. That won't be a big issue. I can just uh, trimming this part off. Is a no problem. Yeah, we can trimming that one off. 
but just make sure it open close easily before I finish okay so now we're going to do our jellyfish here is something that is very important like I say these jellyfish have a lot of uh, tentacles so I want to make sure they are completely stick on my acetate um, my acetate if uh, a little bit popping out when you open slider it's going to cut so I am using this uh, uh, glue dot and I did a review for this kids makers uh, kids sticker maker and I just love it I use it all the time because they can really working uh, I mean they can like uh, here is a lot of a detail right and this one is just to make a easy so a lot of people was asking me say oh um they don't sell the refill but there's a lot of uh, refill you can use a uh, stick and spark refill you can use the uh, artist tag refill but this one I usually don't use this stick and spark because they I found out they are too sticky so but for this purpose we really want them very very sticky so these jellyfish I'm going to kind of just put in the half and then folding it it's okay okay so that's my first jellyfish and then second one let's see when I close my car open my car okay so the second one is important you got to make sure your jellyfish is completely stick on top so I'm going to put my jellyfish there and then use uh, this little tool really make sure they have a lot of uh, glue still have uh, some part is not uh, I think you probably have to change it especially the tentacle area okay okay and then I am going to this one the first one I want then kind of going up so do this and then you really have to press down okay and then see do they go in oh it goes in and then we have uh, one more I'm going to again put uh, let me see this is a uh, hard to see I wish they make a color dot so that way we know the sheets have a no longer glue right okay so again make sure I have enough it's not really sticky I think uh, I need to change the sheets pretty soon well it's just idea you can always uh, apply with a glue and then just uh, wait until they are completely dry okay it's just idea you don't have to do exactly the things that I am doing it right okay so I have enough uh, glue here and this one I want to if I put the same same label 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 level that's too boring right so I'm going to just uh, put the uh, half okay and then this one I don't need to use anymore I don't know I like this little tool I think uh, it's very useful especially when you want to working on very detailed that okay so I put my jellyfish here a little bit low because I want to when they pop out they really have a different layer you know have you seen jellyfish floating like a line out with each other okay and then I am going to just cut it because the half of my jellyfish is on the paper half oops half of my jellyfish is on the paper Ooh, I just uh, cut my jellyfish's uh, leg okay half of my jellyfish is on the paper half of my jellyfish is on the acetate and then I because I want to kind of create like a half of them pop out so I'm just cut the the tentacle here okay just be careful got to have a sharp knife but don't cut too hard hard because it, if you cut too hard you cut through your acetate that will be a problem so kind of just uh, cut here okay that's good and then make sure you kind of pressing that the other half make sure all the um, tentacle is stick on your acetate otherwise when you open close a little bit is going to um, disturb your your uh, open and close 
Okay, like I say, um, I don't think so this backing is necessary, so I'm going to just uh, trim it. Okay, I'm going to just, uh, you can use your trimmer, but uh, because I only have a little bit place to connect with each other, so I don't really think so. I think without it is much better. What do you think? Okay, and then for this one, the, the saying, you can just, uh, you know, put in the front. In, inside, if you want to write a message, because sometimes people say, oh, where am I going to write a message? How about here? You can have a, um, just a glue a, a window. You can write down here. You know, be creative, just have fun. This is just idea, give you a pattern. It's just idea. You're the artist, you do whatever you like. So I'm going to just uh, put uh, um, two phone tape in the front and uh, I made a little boo-boo here so I'm going to put this one here. That was my fingerprint. There you go! Ta-da! 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 I think it's a kind of awesome project. I have a sound double, double slide and uh, I think uh, without the backing is uh, much better. And then you just have to use to this card is open different way. But I think when you put in the envelope, you know, and then face up and then the people who receive this card, they know they have to open this way. And I find all these uh, hologram um, paper I got from Michael's, it's just perfect for the jellyfish. How do you think? So that's a today's video. I hope you like it. And like I say, I have uh, this video coming soon. Um, this is going to be awesome one. It's, uh, it's just a pattern. The coloring is uh, something very simple. You know, it's no big deal. It's just a pattern. And then if you have this stamp set, give it a try. If you don't have this stamp set, try to use the stamp that you have. It's a very interesting to see what other people do with uh, the, this kind of pattern. Okay, so that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye!